One of the great benefits of the Monkey Tools from Table or Range Monkey is that it can actually take a look at your data and determine whether or not it is a table or a range. And this is actually quite different than the standard get data experience that you might be used to if you're using Excel. A case in point is this example, which happens to come from one of the examples we use in the Power Query Academy at skillwave.training to teach how to unpivot subcategorized data. The problem is, is that when you go and you select this data range, what will happen is when you go right click and you try to use the get data from table or range, which clearly indicates you should be able to pull your data from a range, what you get instead is an experience right away that looks like this. Well, that's create table. That's not bring it in from a range. So you have to set up your named range first. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you what it looks like when we use the Monkey Tools implementation. Again, this just comes for free with Monkey Tools right off the bat and is available to everyone. When we choose Get Data From Table or Range, it pops up the From Table or Range dialog. Now if you want a table, that's not a problem. You can just click Table and you can go and you can set everything up. Notice it thinks that we have some headers here, which is fair. But if I don't want that, I can go back and say, look, I'd rather set up a named range here. So I can go and call this one here, let's call it statement or something like that. Notice we can define the named range to be a workbook or a sheet level scope if you need to do that. It's picked up the range of data. So now when I go and say, okay, it's gonna launch me directly into Power Query. The thing that's important here is it did not create a table. It actually created a named range and it's using that inside are set up here. So this is a name for statement, so I can now go and do the things that I want to do. At this point, I'm gonna hit close and load because I wanna make sure that you recognize just how important this is. When I click okay, you can see that this does not have all the colors. It does not have the table tools tab up the top here, but it is showing in the name box right here as statement. So in the normal world, you'd actually have to define this name here first before you use the get data from table or range in order to make this work. We just make it seamless and happen nice and easy. You hit get data, it says, look, this looks like a range. We'll let you define one of those. If you wanna switch a table, no problem at all. You can do that too. Just a nice little quality of life improvement that you get for everybody for free with Monkey Tools. Thanks for watching this episode of Using Monkey Tools. To get your own monkey, visit our website at monkeytools.ca. Or if you subscribe to Skillwave's Self-Service Business Intelligence Academy, you'll get a free annual pro license included with your subscription. And remember, Monkey Tools was developed to support better Excel and Power BI solutions. If you want to learn how to really master these tools, you should definitely check out our full course catalog at skillwave.training.